Hi, this is Cheryl McQueen, designer with Del Bellas Designs. Today I will be showing you a fun, quick, talk to me crafty video tutorial making a gift tag with mini envelope. These are great tags to use for gift giving for holidays, birthday, Valentine's Day, baby shower, or any occasion. And the fun part is the quick and easy mini envelope. The supplies I'll be using today are very basic, but use your imagination on your selection of stamps and inks. For the supplies, we will start out with a piece of scrapbook paper for our envelope. Be sure to use actual scrapbook paper and not cardstock, as it will be hard to fold the envelope if you use cardstock. I will then use Multifarious Smooth and Supreme A5 White made by Lavinia. What I'm going to do is take that and cut it to be two and three quarters by one and three quarter inches if I'm using a frame or um, I'm going to use, uh, if I decide not to use a frame, I'll cut it to three by two. So this is basically what the card is. This is the piece that I've cut that is two and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then our frame made out of a color cardstock, which will be cut to three inches by two inches. The mini envelope pattern um, is what we will use to cut this out. It will look something like this. Um, I actually have it on my silhouette machine, uh, so I can just cut it out. I've saved it to use. But if you would like to have a pattern, I am happy to email one to you. So just go to the Del Bellows Designs Lounge uh, on the Facebook page and send it to me, Cheryl McQueen. Um, your email address via messenger and I will be sure and email you a JPEG that you can use um, as your pattern for making your envelope. For the stamp, I'm going to go ahead and be using just one stamp myself today. I'm going to use the Christmas Tree Group LAV021. I'm also only going to use one color of ink and that's just going to be for making my little moon here and for the shadowing around my little mini card. And that's the Distress Ink Mode Lawn. I'm also going to use a very tiny one half inch moon mask, it's kind of hard to see, um, to put on my little mini envelope there. Um, and I'll be using a mini dauber to put our card together and, and our envelope together you can either use an adhesive running tape or the ultra bond adhesive that you can find on the Del Bellows um, website this is great because it has a very tiny narrow tip um, so you can do very fine line of the glue we'll also be using a scoring board to uh, make it easier to fold our envelope into the right uh, pattern and um, I will use my Tim Holtz um, stamping platform here with um, a little adhesive sticky grid on it so I don't have to use magnets uh, when I begin doing the actual stamping. So we are ready to get started making our mini envelope with the gift card tag. To begin, we're going to make our envelope first. Like I said, I have a silhouette cutting machine, so I've created a mini envelope the size that I want and keep it on the machine so I can pull it up anytime I like. But again, I will be happy to send you a JPEG file of the envelope pattern. You can use a scrap of paper as small as 5x7 to make the envelope. Um, to do this, just cut out your envelope, either using your um, cutting machine or by hand and this is what it's going to look like. You will now need to score the edges for easy folding. Be sure when you're scoring scrapbook paper that you don't press down too hard or you will create a too deep of a groove and that may cause the paper to tear. So this is what we're going to look for on our scoring. If you can see that there, you see I've got a score at the flap of the envelope, one down at the bottom, and then on the suit two tabs. So I'm going to take my scoring board 
and start out by scoring the side tabs. Now I have a little tool that came with mine, um, but it seems to cut too deep. So I'm actually just using the edge of a ruler um, that I have so that I can make sure that I don't cut too deeply. So what I'm doing is taking my little tab right here and lining up a score line to go right along that tab. And then I will very gently run along the score line to create that little score. Then I'll turn it around and do the exact same thing on the other tab. So now I've got scores on both of my tabs. Now I'm going to do the flap. So I will go to the edge of the tabs, line them up, and again just run my tool down to create a light little score. Going to flip it over and down to the bottom half of my envelope. And so now you see that you've got your scores ready to go for folding. Now at this point you can either do your stamping now and then assemble, um, assemble your envelope or you can assemble the envelope and then stamp. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the envelope first so that you can see how it looks completed. So at this point I will either take my crafter's tape or my adhesive bond and um, get the, the envelope put together. So what we're going to do is fold on those score lines And the first thing we'll do is take our little tabs and fold those in. If you'd like to, you could use a um, bone folder tool to uh, crease your, your edges a little bit. Mine's not right here by me, so I won't worry about doing that right now. Okay, so this is how it's going to end up being. So what we're going to need to do is adhere this bottom part of the envelope to the little tabs. Now you notice the little tabs go just a little higher up. so. I would recommend putting your glue or your running tape on this edge instead of this one because then you might go too high and then it would it would stick. I'm going to go ahead and use the running tape. It's a little bit quicker for uh, demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to run that right up there on both sides. And that's all we have to do. And now I just fold up that piece and stick it down. Simple as that. And there's our little envelope. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and decorate my envelope. So I'm going to set my adhesive aside for the moment. Now as you can see what I did is I just did a very simple little design on the front of my envelope and then I did a little simple design that kind of carried through the theme on my inside card. So what I will do is just go ahead and lay my envelope down on my scoring, I'm sorry, my stamping platform. And then I will take my stamp and figure out where I'd like to do it. I'm just going to have a little bit up, up from the bottom. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention that my stamping ink today is going to be the Versifying Claire Nocturne. So now we will ink up our stamp. Okay, I got just a little bit of ink on my door, and I don't want that to smear on anything, so I'm just going to wipe that up real quick. 
and then we will close the lid and just apply some pressure. I like to put smooth, even pressure across my entire stamp just to make sure that we get full contact with the paper. Get a nice crisp image. Now we have our image. I'm going to set this aside for the moment. And then I'm just going to very, very simply make a little moon up in the top. I'm just going to put that right over there on the right hand side. Then I'm going to take my mode lawn. And I like to use the little mini dauber. It's kind of, it's smaller and tinier, so when you're doing a very small mask, um, I, feel, I feel like I have a little more control. So basically, I am just going to, and I'll tell you what I also like to do, is take just a little bitty tiny piece of painter's tape or the Sweet Poppy masking tape and put it behind my mask just so that I don't have to worry about it wiggling around too much. All right. And then I will just take my little dauber and just flick from the center of the little circle mask out around the edges. And that just kind of gives a little aura in the look of the moon over the trees. And then remove our little circle mask. And there we have it. And that's basically all I'm going to do. Obviously, just do what you want to do. Find a fun uh, group of stamps that you want to do. You can do it as simple or as um, detailed as you would like to do. So now we're ready to go ahead and do our little interior card. That would looks like this. So I take my two and a half, I'm sorry, two and three quarters by one and three quarters, a little piece of cardstock, and I'm going to place it again on my stamping platform. And then I'm just going to put my trees over here on the left-hand side. Now, I, I, because I don't really want my sticky grid to get too terribly... Um, messed up. I'm just going to take a little piece of scrap paper here so that my stamp as it overlaps is not going to to get on my sticky grid. Alright. Then we will just fold that over and ink up the stamp. Now, since I'm not using the whole one, I only need to do half of it. And I will take that and press down to get the crisp image. set our platform aside. Now what I want to do, I like to just give it a little bit of color around the edge to kind of match the envelope and the other work that we've done. So I'm going to take my mowed lawn again and take my little dauber again and I'm just going to flick around the edges. Or you can go in circles however you prefer but just kind of make a little frame. Again, this just adds a complementary color, complementary color to the little mini card. And to me it draws the eye in. So when you 
address your card or write your little note on it and I just got a little bit of ink on that. I actually have an ink eraser here so hopefully maybe I can uh, get that little bit of black ink that I had on my fingers off. Alright, so now that portion of my card is done. Again, very quick and very simple. Now we're going to do the mounting onto the frame. The frame I've cut again is two inches by three inches. And we're just going to mount that on that. Again, you can use the Ultra Bond glue. I am doing the adhesive because it's just uh, quick when you're doing a demonstration. You don't have to worry too much about any of the drying time. And then I'm just going to center this. And I tell you, it's hard to see with this black background with a black frame, so I'm going to get a little piece of paper here to give me a little visual here. All right. And that is basically it. A very quick, easy little project to do. You can slide your little card right inside there once you've filled it out to who you want to. Um, I actually have some little silver dots on order, but now here's a little white dot if I wanted to do that when I'm ready to send it or put it on a package and just put it on there to seal it up. And there's our project. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial today. I hope you have fun making these gift cards. Um, the little tags and mini envelopes are great for any kind of gift. Remember to check out the DelBellasDesigns.com website for more tutorials on the design team page. I hope you have a great day.